from 7.5 to 15 percent per annum. Since August 2023, the Russian central bank has raised the discount rate four times to stop the rapid decline of the ruble. Following Putin's press secretary, the head of the Federation's Ministry of Finance recommended that Russians pay less attention to the exchange rate. According to him, the authorities are allegedly doing everything to minimize the impact of the ruble exchange rate on the citizens. But the country is still very dependent on imports, which are becoming more expensive due to inflation. And we are talking not only about medicines and spare parts for foreign cars, but also about imported components for military equipment. Even those new models of tanks that the Russian Federation produces, they are impossible to make without French fire guidance systems, without German optics, without computer systems that are not produced in the Russian Federation. And I am not talking about more complex products. I am not yet talking about aviation technology. According to Bloomberg Economics, in 2022 alone, Russian companies accumulated about $80 billion in raw material revenues abroad, which they chose not to bring into the Federation. On October the 30th, 2023, the Russian government introduced a bill to the State Duma that would oblige top Russian exporters to report to the central bank on foreign currency assets abroad. In fact, the Kremlin continues to tighten controls of the currency transactions of large companies to try to steal stabilize the ruble and bring soaring inflation under control. Since October, the 43 largest oil and gas, metallurgical, chemical and grain companies have been required to replace at least 80% of foreign currency earnings in Russian banks and then sell at least 90% of this volume on the domestic market. At the same time, credit in foreign currency is possible within 60 days and subsequent sales within another two weeks. The corresponding decree of President Vladimir Putin is valid until March 2024 and his goal is to keep the dollar below the three-digit mark during this time. From the Moscow Times publication, with reference to Russian analyst Alexander Patavin. Currency control can bring the Russian market to $3 billion a month, the publication writes. In March 2024, presidential elections will be held in Russia, and after them, the decree can be cancelled. If this happens, the ruble will resume falling and will probably set new anti records. Russia has not yet exhausted all its resources and will try to clinch to the electorate. But after the elections, there will be another collapse of the ruble. Now Putin has ordered to keep the exchange rate less than 100 rubles. Then it will be somewhere around 150. But this is all after the elections. This is how he wants to realize his political goals. In addition to trying to delay the next collapse of the ruble, the Russian authorities included economically unjustified social payments in the budget, everything to appease the electorate. But given sanctions pressure and the outflow of foreign capital, Russia will probably not earn as much as it plans to spend. Therefore, the source of government revenue will be the Russian population, analysts say, which is already poor due to the devaluation of the ruble. Reported by Dana Kulesnik, Valeria Nekipalova, UATV News.